I've been in the AC business for 20 years, and all that time, I never really missed a leak with this leak detector, the H10PM. Uh, before it was the H10 and then the H10G. John, many people put their name on it, Johnson Controls, Bacharach, um, Yokigawa, and uh, as always for R22, very sensitive leak detector. It actually ends up being sensitive to 125 parts per billion with a B, and you, that you basically for $500, you got the same sensitivity as this leak detector right here, which cost $8,000. Uh, this one gives you 50 parts per billion and uh, an R22 sensitivity. So, you know, for 20 years, the H10 basically had the market for the leak detectors, but now we got our 410 came along and this guy just totally misses our 410 leaks. The sensitivity is so poor and uh, and so uh, it was uh, you know missing quite a few leaking evaporators, you know leaking condenser coils. So it prompted me to go to the Inficon infrared. Here's my used one with a modification. I used this for many years but it really just I just dreaded, you know, when a pound, when a system was one pound low on refrigerant, especially a system I put in, because I could never find the leak with this Inficon. If it was an R22 system, I could definitely find the leak. And uh, so it prompted me to get a sample of all the leak detectors that are available and uh, all the high dollar ones. I didn't bother testing, you know, the 50 dollar uh, Chinese leak detectors and uh, and so I ended up testing them uh, laboratory quality testing parts per million sensitivity for R22 and R410A and uh, because if you read the specs in all these guys they, the specs can be misleading you know they're all they basically say all these leak detectors should be picking up R410 leaks uh, but the problem is they don't. Actually, it's only a couple of them do. As you would imagine, you know, the eight, if you spend $8,000, actually you can get these are about $1,500 used. You know, you'll find your R410 leaks, you know, with this one. And, uh, but, uh, you know, that's just a pain. You know, it's five minutes to power on. It's uh, very heavy. The probe uh, can suck up water easily. It's designed to be used in a factory environment. And uh, so, to my surprise, there's actually another leak detector, which is uh, in the sub one million, one per million uh, class. And uh, I'm not going to say which one it is because that's why you know I did the testing and I put forward, you know, I put out a lot of money to buy all these things and uh, a lot of money to get the testing done. But basically, I just wanted to show I got one of each leak detector. This is brand new here, and. Uh, this one we got the TIFF, the ZX1, tested that, parts per million, R22 and R410. Of course my trusty old H10, which I'm going to be retiring now because of the just totally useless on R410 leaks. Even when I called the factory, turn up the sensor, run it a quarter turn hot, and use it on manual. Uh, just it's very not, it's not sensitive at all, R410A. My trusty Inficon. And um, this is, uh, you know, what I was using, but this test is going to show that uh, there's another detector, which is way better. Uh, actually, ten times better. To be fair to Inficon, I bought a brand new one, did the test on it, and, uh, you know, right out of the box. Actually, all these are brand new out of the box, except for a couple of them. And uh, let's see, did testing right here. This is the UEI. Regent RLD 15. I got parts per million testing R22, R410A. We got the field piece here. This is the SRL2 parts per million test results. All these tests are controlled, they're all the same across the board on brand new machines. This is a TIFF XP1A. Did the testing on that. We got the Prowler. 
We got the Prowler LD5000. They did testing on that. R410, R22, parts per million testing. Of course, the man leak detector here. And uh, this is the Inficon. It's been obsoleted. Uh, HLD4000. If you want to get the new one, it's HLD5000, which goes for eight to ten thousand uh, dollars. On the 4000, it's the Series A. And uh, Series A is, uh, was designed for the HFC refrigerants with the fluorine in it. And you know, if you want to pony up, I mean, I can tell you without buying a report, you get one of these guys, uh, anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred. Put a new sensor in it, and uh, you know, you get one of these. You're not going to have a problem with four ten leaks. And uh, but I found another detector which is just as sensitive as this one in the uh, parts per million. And actually, I'm not going to say parts per million or parts per billion. And, uh, and so uh, that's why I had this testing done. So anyway, you just pay for the report. You'll know which leak detector to buy. It's very cheap. The price of the report is less than any of these leak detectors. And uh, it'll, uh, I'm actually got a few more leak detectors coming in that I'm adding to the report that I don't have on this video. And uh, But when you want to pick up uh, all the leaks and not leave a job site, you know, especially a brand new system you installed, not leave the job site telling the customer there's a small leak that you can't find. So by the report, I'll tell you which leak detector has the best sensitivity. The report also is going to list the sensitivity in parts per million and parts per billion of all these detectors on the list. And actually, I also have videos of each test uh, being done in the controlled environment and uh, where its accuracy is 10% on the parts per million and parts per billion on some of them. Okay guys, you know I had to do this. I got all these guys running. It's the symphony of leak detectors. Let's crack open a jug of R22 and see what we get. This is just for entertainment, y'all. This is nothing to do with the testing. <laughs> Houston, we have a leak. Anyway, that's it. By the report, guys. You know which leak detector is the most sensitive without having to find out trial and error.